Hey guys, look what I found uh, last Saturday. We had a uh, pretty good windstorm and I was cleaning up the yard and found this little bird's nest. And I thought, hey man, you know, I've never tried to actually make, start a fire with a real bird's nest. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to attempt that. You can see this one's still in pretty good shape. I didn't find any eggs and I think it was too early for you know anybody any birds to be nesting in it so I mean uh, no birds <laughs> were harmed in the making of this video. Check that out. All right. Beautiful little bird. I just want to take a minute to kind of you know admire that when we think of uh, you know animals building nests, dens, that kind of thing. You know I think top of the heat would definitely be a beaver and probably a bird, but man, look at that. You know, small little bird weaved all that together. That had to take a lot of energy and time to do that. That's really pretty amazing. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's see what will happen with this real bird's nest if I try to just utilize this to start a fire. Now I'm going to use my ferrocium rod here to see if I can get this going. Um, it is kind of windy today, so that could uh, could affect my attempt. Um, if I can't get it going, I'll probably, I have some fat lighter I can add to it, or maybe some birch bark, that kind of thing. All right, first attempt, here we go. All right, second attempt. All right, third attempt. There we go. Three strikes with that fairy rod. And up she goes. So right there, we could get us a uh, fire going fairly easy with something like that. How about that? A real bird's nest. Fire starting with a real bird's nest. Wow, that's sustaining that fire uh, quite some time. So, if we can mimic that, the work of a little bird, we can mimic that work, we're gonna be able to start us a fire. All right, well, there you have it. Starting a fire with a real bird's nest. I've never attempted that before. I've never even seen it done, uh, whether in person or on video. So yeah, I, I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, I'll try to keep this content coming as I can. And uh, please go to that comment section. Let me know what you think. And whether you're on the water or in the woods, be safe out there. We'll see you soon on Topsoil Outdoor Adventures.